Good morning, Modern Steaders. This morning, we're switching gears up a little bit. We have company coming over, and we have a few projects in our house that we haven't finished. So let me see if you can guess what we're gonna be building this morning. Open up the tailgate, and I'll show you. Uh, I guess I can't, I'll have to show you in a second. We got a planer, a stand, rough sawn lumber, a jointer, box of screws, and my chop saw. Any guesses on what we're making? Leave it in the comments down below. Don't skip forward first. So what I'm hoping here is, I'm hoping I can put these boards through the planer, clean them up enough to get them clean, but still be able to leave some of the circular saw marks from the sawmill in them. I just don't want them dirty because they're going in the house. So I want to clean a lot of that rough stuff up, but keep them a little rough. Fingers crossed, it'll come out the way we want it to come out. Usually doesn't, but we'll keep our toes and our fingers crossed and maybe it will this time. We need 83 and a half inches for our finished product, so I'm going to get a rough width for now. I'm going to get a rough length for now, we'll go 90. I don't want to be sending this whole board through the planer in one pass. We'll cut it up into smaller sections. This board has rot on it. But we're going to be only using about six inches on this board, so we'll be cutting off the rod. Before we run them through the planer, we need to figure out what we have for a starting thickness. This is just shy of an inch. So let's set our planer for just a little bit thinner than that. So over here is our gauge and up here is our hand crank. Let me raise this up just shy of an inch and see we'll start it and see what happens. The other thing we have is right here we got a little gauge the board pushes it off right here. It tells you how much material you're taking off at a time. The less material you take off in a pass, the smoother finish you're gonna get. The hard part of these being rough sawn is they're not all the same width starting out. So we gotta try to make a happy medium. I think what's gonna happen at first is we're gonna have to make one side a little bit smoother than we really want, but then the other side will be a lot nicer. So we gotta get one side planed on all the boards. Now that we have the baseline thickness set for all of the boards. We're gonna flip them over and we're gonna plane the other side and we're hoping that this side we can get to leave the more of the saw mark 
and clean it up at the same time. If it's possible. This one was very thick, so we really had to come down and take off a lot on this one side. Our turn dial right here tells you how much you go down. So a whole crank is a sixteenth, half a crank is a thirty-second, and a quarter of a turn is a sixty-fourth. So I'm just going to do a quarter of a turn and see what happens. Leave it there. I have a feeling I'm going to be doing a lot more projects in the house. That's beautiful. That's the look right there I want. That is just absolutely beautiful. We'll be doing a lot more projects in the house like this. That would make a really nice trim board around all our doors and windows. I like that. Gina will be excited. I think we have a lot more work we're gonna be doing around the homestead. <laughs> be good winter projects. Let's get cutting the boards and get them all to length and then we can start building the project and you'll see what it is in a few minutes. I'll give you one more hint right now. It's gonna be 36 inches wide when we're all said and done. Any guesses? I like it. The ones that are a little bit rougher than the other ones, what I can do is I can take a sander to them. I'm going to finish getting these boards cut to length and then I'll get back with you. The next tool we'll be running the boards through is a joiner. So we'll run the edges of the boards through it. And it's got planer knives on it. And it's going to plane and give a nice smooth edge. I was saying earlier that these boards have some rot in them, which I knew that. 
So if we rip these ones down to say we'll go six in and eight, so then we can join up the end and we can get rid of the cable saw mark. Yeah, we'll rip them both down to six, six and an eighth, six and a sixteenth. And we'll get rid of that rod and then we'll run the end we cut off through the joiner to give it a nice smooth look. I gotta go get the table saw now. The reason I'm going to joint these edges is it's all furry and hairy from the saw and the joiner is nice and smooth like a factory edge you would get if you went to Lowe's or Home Depot and picked up a finished board. So we're just going to run those through the joiner real quick and just get that cleaned up. Get our first board on. We're flushed up with the edges. And we're using drywall screws just because I like the look of the black screw. I'm liking the look of it so far. Make sure everything's lying flat, which it is. Check our board. I like that. Let's take our board off. Get some glue on it. These boards are still a little wet, so there'll be spacing in there between the cracks when it dries, but let's keep it tight for now. Now that we're screwing it, we just need to be aware 
about where we're positioned on each board so we don't get too close to the edge and crack it. That would not be good. letting it dry and then in tomorrow's video we're going to be hanging the door in the house. I really like this door. Leave it in the comments down below. I'd like to know your thoughts on the door. I think Gene is going to like it and it might turn into a new window project replacing all the interior doors with doors like this. That would look nice. Be interesting to see what Gina thinks and I'm excited to get it hung up tomorrow. You hear that? That's some apples falling. And leaves. Whew, that means more pig food! Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it. It's really helping the channel grow. want to thank all the modern steaders for that. If you haven't had a chance to check out our new website, I'm going to put a link to it here and down in the description below. What's that? You want to see the pigs? Alright, don't leave yet. We'll go check on the pigs. Are you eating apples? You converting them apples into bacon? That's what we like to see. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow where we're going to be hanging this awesome sliding barn door on the guest bedroom tomorrow. Right here at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.